Hello Leo, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading and this is for April 4th through the 10th. Uh, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'll be using the Celtic Rose spread and I'm going to ask you what is important for you guys to know. What situation, events, energies, what does the universe want you to know for next week? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have the Venus in Aries, Four of Wands, Engagement, we'll see. The Page of Pentacles being crossed by the Nine of Pentacles. The Two of Wands, the Sun. The Five of Pentacles, the Hanging Man. The Eight of Pentacles, I just finished <laughs> Cancer and they had a lot of Pentacles. And you guys, what's going on here? The Ten of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Okay. The situation that you're getting, I'm sorry guys for my silence, I'm just looking at the whole cards. The Page of Pentacles to me, especially associated with the Nine of Pentacles, there you have an opportunity here that can give you, you know, especially regarding finances, stability, very independent nature like i you're fascinated to learn about something that gains um you know for you not only financial freedom but also in the independence it may be regarding this nine of pentacles here this person but i feel like it's mostly you you're looking at it you're you're studying it you feel like okay but for me to go towards this because this is what's challenging you. I have to know that I'm going to be financially free or independent or well off or it's going to provide what I need. And this is coming because of an important decision. This decision, again, as I mentioned, has to do with what you need and what do you want further here to go forward. For some of you, it may be regarding an engagement, a reunion, and it's tied to your financial situation. This is because in the recent past, past year or the past, and we're looking at a week ahead, it may be very well happening now, there's something very much vital and important that came in your life. Something opened your eyes or you felt like this is true happiness, this is where I want to go. But again, now you feel like, what do I do with it? How do I go for, uh, forward with it? You feel like if you go towards this situation, re remember that what can challenge you is like if you are going to be independent or well off or financially free because the five of pentacles, you think like, what if I'm being casted outside or neglected if I make this important choice to people between, a, uh, you know, commitment versus a career? It's going to be different for all of you, but that's what you're thinking with the five of pentacles that... There's something here of poor me or, you know, financially poor here, obstacles and challenges. Now, the hanging man is approaching here. And I feel like most than anything, this is a spiritual um, kind of understanding here. Aries had that. I believe Aries and Taurus had the hanging man. I believe so. Especially in this card, I always feel like someone is going for that pot of gold or going for the treasure or whatever it is here that we want but there's something else that nope you cannot go there yet is like have you looked at the different perspective not just at the money uh situation here but something else that is more and i don't want to uh, put here on a you know what's important more this or that all of us depending on the journey that we're going we're going to have different you know needs in life but it, it's saying that there's a different perspective here that is going to come towards you or like, like you have to be like, okay, what do I need to first hold back, look at it from a different angle instead of just reaching right away, uh, you know, to what I want. What am I self-sacrificing in order for me to go and get this? Do I have to give something else? So that's the energy that is approaching you or your person is like someone that is trying here to see, I want this, I'm hanging on to this, but I need to look at, you know, what do I need to wait first? This is also going to make you feel like you have to work harder. 
like you here you have the nine of pentacles here you have the eight of pentacles maybe you know i need to look at it in a more detailed maybe I, there's progress here there's still work but i know now what i need to do i need to focus on this and improve when it comes to this situation external to you this may be your person guys this may be your environment is the ten of wands sagittarius energy it's like someone that is caring a lot it's almost there to the finish line it's been a long journey exhausted passionate goal oriented again this may be how you feel like you have you know a lot of burdens when it comes to other people around you to the people that you connect but this also may be someone here that you don't see that they're very tired very exhausted um it's been a long road for them and they have been carrying this passion to the point of now like you know i'm ready i cannot hold this heaviness anymore it's like someone feels very overwhelmed you have the two of swords here in your hopes and fears so this tells me that when it comes to this situation again you are looking at it you are thinking about it you are studying it but in the end you feel like what if i cannot decide the two of wands is much more decisive what if i cannot decide what if this person does not consider this where what if i these are the hopes and fears that you have because remember you are afraid of being casted outside or left financially poor here or you know kind of you know nothing happening good here so you fear the indecision you fear the crossroads you feel like maybe i'm not going to be able to clearly decide what i want the six of swords i feel like you are going to be able to transition here um even if you think here with the five of pentacles the six of swords is like thinking um not only outside of the box but kind of feeling like if i don't leave myself out of this situation i'm not going to be able to see what's next so it it, it looks to, to me that you're going to have this smooth sailing that you're going to be able to leave conflict behind that you're going to be able to sail to something more harmonious um, type of situation but let's see so there's going to be movement um necessary movement of whatever it is that you feel conflicted let's see tell me about the page of pentacles please one more the king of wands is this you one more this is coming out of a situation of regret Again, the King of Wands may be you, but it may be also another person here that you're dealing with. It's coming as someone that is very passionate, very determined. It's it's carrying a like I feel like this Ace of Wands here carries that spark, that passion of uh, or even hope here, that initiation into something bigger. But it again, it's being studied because again, there's a sense of loss, regret, and as I mentioned, there's a sense of financial difficulties for for all of you this is going to be different guys it can be about love it can be about a career but it's again that opportunity that if i go and start with this what are you know longevity here looking at what will i learn how will i you know connect with this person are we going to start with something small and then see where it goes that's what you're dealing again i feel like finances are very strong here uh, as well with you guys but it's it's a decision not only just financially it has to do with your instinct your passion your desire and your financial situation regarding someone but this is like i want to go towards it i feel like that certain sense of spark and passion but i i have to be practical i have to see is it about messaging someone is it about starting you know a new life here with someone a, a company we'll see as we go forward What is the nine of pentacles, please? One more. It's like too many have felt like the emperor is here. Yeah, it's the two of wands. Oh, wow. 
the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. You're trying here to integrate these two worlds together that are very they are very difficult for the reason right now. Again, I'm getting earth and fire. There is between practical approach here, the known pathway. You know, is this the pathway that once I take, I can see very well that I'm going to have a guarantee in it. That's what you're trying to integrate here between this independence, being well off individually and with someone else. You're trying to come something together here. Remember, it's because something beautiful has happened here or vital in your in your life. But now you feel like, how is it going to be long term? How can you integrate this together? What is this two of wands? One more. You have the seven of pentacles. You've been waiting for a long time to make this decision. You have invested. You see seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles, five of pentacles. Oh, wow. If you make this decision, are you making a wise decision? That's that's how you're looking at it. Is it worth it? How much time, what dedication, what work, what nurturing you have to put into it? Tell me about the sun, please. One more. Such a Leo energy, right? Uh, Mars in Leo. This sun is coming as something that you felt determined. A lot of willpower, a lot of... I'm going to stand my ground here, defend my happiness, defend what I want. One more, please. What is this? The Page of Wands. It feels... I mean, when I look at this, because I'm getting like a child, like playful energy here. Adventurous. So this came here out of a situation that you stood your ground and uh, you looked at it and hey, it's worth it. It's my true happiness. This is what I want to explore. A lot of fire, a lot of um, desire. Something unique that you really have protected and uh, stood very strong, very passionate. But remember, this page of wands is more of your personality here that you like things to be instinctual, you know, having that playful energy or, you know, entrepreneurial type of spirit. You know, I go as, um, you know, as I go, I learn, I experience things. And it, that's, that's your motto. But now it looks like you're dealing with something more practical because it has to do with your security, stability, money, finances. What is the Five of Pentacles, please? Oh, wow. The Two of Wands. So there is a fear, again, that this choice might leave someone or something here in a poor condition being casted outside from other things one more the queen of pentacles here we're talking about i don't know if you feel like you're going to be financially poor here or make a decision that you might feel from with another person you're not going to be welcomed that's what you see the uh, potential outcome there's a fear of that choice financially or with another person not being welcomed. What is the hanging man, Leo? One more. Oh, wow. The devil. You see, what is the price to pay? And really, it's interesting how the devil is coming with this hanging man. Because as I mentioned, someone is like reaching for that. And it's like, nope, not yet. I'm getting a torment here between the lovers waiting for each other, wanting to reach out to each other, but feeling captured. That's what's coming in. What is the hanging man and the devil here? 
one more. And I'm saying the Queen of Cups, yeah, and the Four of Pentacles. Uh, some of you may be dealing with Capricorn and Pisces here. But um, this is interesting because this, both these two particular cards is like someone is holding. Here, uh, someone is holding the lovers. You know, they are kind of chained or in flame here. There's that fairy, I believe, that is holding the hanging man from reaching their, their pot of gold or what they want. So again, and it has to do with someone here that is holding to their own security and is not opening up emotionally it's like someone is trapped in a situation out of convenience of money or you know uh, mater material here it's like someone is really stuck materialistically here in a situation because remember the four of pentacles is coming here with the devil i'm afraid i'm gonna hang on to it i can't right now choose i cannot go it's because again you feel like you think that the potential outcome is that you're going to be left out so of course you feel like if i make this choice i'm going to be stuck in a you know in a in a poor condition or financially poor i'm going to be left outside so the hanging man is like i want this but i'm not going there yet what is the eight of pentacles please you feel like there's more work more progress more dedication to be put here what is the eight of pentacles please one more oh my goodness leo what do you do a lot of interferences i feel like you're going to put yourself into your work or seeing how things are going to improve from this heartbreak or pain what is this one more Yeah, you feel like in a way, in order for you to get, look at you, to get this good news reconciliation, you have to work so you can get out of a difficult situation in order for you to gain success, recognition, not being casted outside. You're just going to feel like I have more work to do and improvement to do before I reach my, you know, ideal status. Some of you, again, your status, your money. Your stability is at stake here. Your name, your self-respect. What is the Ten of Wands externally, please? One more. The Death card. This is an ending that someone is going through. Big transformation external to you, guys. Someone is tired and is going through this big, big transformation and ending. Both the cards represent some ending, but it has to do with, again, someone that has been going on and is tired and is getting a lot of heavy baggage. Why you have the Two of Swords in your hopes and fears? One more. The Ten of Swords. Man, what is going on here, uh, Leo, that you're so scared? There's something very painful. Some of you may have cancer in your chart. The Two of Swords, again, you feel like... A decision here or indecision no matter what is like it leads to a painful situation I'm at crossroads timing is not right the worst scenarios are coming to mind maybe this person will never choose and it's gonna be the ending of us or maybe I can't make the decision I'm gonna stay stuck in this ever-ending you know kind of situation a lot of thoughts and obsessive thoughts here tell me about the six of swords please there's just hopes and fears, not that it's going to happen. That's what kind of you're still fearing, I believe, more than anything else. What is the Six of Swords? One more. Oh my goodness, the Two of Cups. Another two. One more. Well, the Five of Swords makes sense because we are clarifying the Six of Swords, um, which I said you're moving from a conflict here forward. This movement has to do between you and someone else. Whatever this choice that you and this other person, as I mentioned before, it's all about this choice throughout the, the reading here. It's saying that you both are going to be able to let go of any fear, any conflict, any fear of rejection here or bad blood and just feel like, you know something, let's let's step to the next chapter do i believe that this is you and this person finally being together no the six of swords to me is just a transitioning you know period 
of what it is right now that you are because it looks like again you're very busy when it comes to things that you want to accomplish with your current status money wise stability or with the person you're looking at long term or you're not just looking at the current situation again in the past may have been more kind of spontaneous energy you're not dealing with that spontaneous energy there's a lot at stake when it comes to your own security stability and things here of interferences so this is just okay you know i don't want to hold on to this conflict or rejection or fear i need to understand it's like you gaining peace of mind or transitioning in this connection with the knowledge that at least i'm not stuck in this hurtful situation with the five of swords uh complications we have venus in aquarius mercury in aquarius and venus in cancer so definitely it is about values love and connection but the six of swords is just moving from conflict with you and another person moving away from conflict i really hope this resonates with you guys in the extended we will see what's going on with your love life if you're interested you can find the link in the description box below thank you bye bye